Hey guys, this week's quick tip for luthiers is all about how to dispose of oil-soaked rags. Now the reason why I've uh, decided to talk about this subject, because I've talked about it before, is it seems like every spring, or, or at least at this time of the year, it seems like there are a lot of house fires uh, that ha occur which are linked to improper disposal of oil-soaked rags. And I know in my community in the last I think week and a half, two weeks, there have been at least two house fires that I'm aware of that were caused by the improper disposal of these racks. So uh, I'm going to explain the technique that I use for getting rid of them to avoid spontaneous combustion. I think one of the problems is when people use rags to apply oil-based products, afterwards the rag is wet, so they think, well, it's not going to catch on fire. The thing is, Oil-based products don't dry through evaporation the way water-based products do. Instead, when oil, uh, and we're talking about tongue oil, boiled linseed oil, and as well as all the uh, oil-based uh, blends like true oil, uh, polyure, oil-based polyurethane, um, Danish oil, uh, and there's a couple of tongue oil products out there. Any of those products, what happens is, is when you apply it, the oil is exposed to oxygen and that causes the molecular structure in the oil to change. And it's that process which can generate heat. Now normally if it's just one rag and it's just laying out flat, that heat dissipates. But if you throw them all into a pile like in a trash can, that heat has nowhere to go and it can continue to build until it reaches the flash point and it will spark and catch fire. And that's how a lot of houses get burned down. And um, <laughs> it seems like it always happens when people are uh, refinishing furniture or restaining decks in their backyard. You always hear about these fires uh, occurring. So, uh, but it's really just a simple process for uh, disposing of the rags properly. And let me show you how I do it. There are actually a couple of ways that you can dispose of rags. And one way that people like to use is just to fill a bucket with some water. And then when you're done, you just simply toss the rag into the bucket. The problem with this is, is it's really only an interim step. You're only uh, soaking the rag in water, but you're still going to have to dispose of it at some point. And typically what happens when you do this is the oil, because oil and water don't mix, the oil will separate and form a skin on the surface of the water, and you'll have to figure out a way to dispose of that. And then you still have to dispose of the rag. So really, uh, this is it, it, it's a way to deal with the rag while you're working, but it's not really, in my opinion, a way of disposing it. What I do instead is pretty simple. After I'm done with using a rag, I just lay it out on the cement floor of my shop, and let it dry. Of course, uh, these oil products can take a while to dry, but because it's a, a thin coating inside the fibers of the rag, it will dry a little bit quicker. But as you can see, the rags are just laid out so that they aren't touching and aren't piled on top of each other. Uh, that's where you can run into trouble with uh, causing spontaneous combustion. But I'll leave the rags like this for as long as a week. Usually what I'll do is on the day that my trash is picked up, I'll gather up all the rags, and by that, this time they're usually dry. And then I'll stick them inside of a Ziploc plastic bag, fill it with water, and then put it in with my trash right before it gets picked up to be taken away. And this has always worked for me as far as reducing the potential for a fire.